Okay, we are going to be looking about how we can use quadratics to represent things in real life. It represents lots of things, like mostly how things are thrown, projectiles, throwing a tennis ball, they will follow the path of a quadratic, also called a parabola. Um, but it will also come up in other areas as well, to things to do with economics and other things to do with engineering. We'll have a look at this example. It's not going to be anything new. It's just going to be using all of the previous skills that we've got. And then I'll do a couple of exam questions as well. So here it says, a spear is thrown over level ground from the top of a tower. The height in metres of the spear above the ground after t seconds is modelled by the function h of t equals 12.25 plus 14.7t minus 4.9t squared. And it says that t is greater than or equal to zero. So in this model, it's not x and y anymore. It's like h of t, which is the height, and t representing the, the time that has passed. And it says, first of all, interpret the meaning of the constant term 12.25 in the model. Well, have a think about what this 12.25 is when these bits have got a t with them. Well, I think if t was equal to zero, or when t is equal to zero, h is equal to 12.25. So what this probably means, because it is being thrown over level ground from the top of the tower, I would say that 12.25 uh, is the height of the tower from where the spear is thrown. In other words, when it's at the start of this throwing, when t is equal to zero, that's how high it, how high up it is. You might not have seen, you didn't need to say the height of the tower. You could have just said it's the height above the ground from which it has been thrown. Then it says, after how many seconds does the spear hit the ground? Well, it hits the ground when the height h of t is equal to zero. OK, so that's when it hits the ground, when the height is zero. So we would get zero equals 12.25 plus 14.7t minus 4.9t squared. And I'm literally just going to put that in my calculator. But you might want to have it as minus 4.9t squared plus 14.7t plus 12.25. I'm going to find out how long it takes for it to hit the ground. So I'm going to put in 4.9. 14.7 and 12.25 and I get that t is either equal to 3.68 seconds or t is minus 0.68 seconds but we know for this to make sense that time is greater than or equal to zero so it takes 3.68 seconds to hit the ground. Then it says write h of t in the form blah 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 completed square form here where a, b and c are constants to be found. So we have got 12.25, in fact I'm going to write it in the way we normally do, minus 4.9 t squared plus 14.7 t plus 12.25. Now we're going to take out a factor of 4.9 and that will be a t squared. There's going to be a minus. So I'm going to do 14.7 divided by 4.9, which is 3. So it'll be minus 3t. And I'm going to leave that 12.25 untouched like we normally do. And then I'm going to complete the square on this middle bracket. So that's going to be t minus 1.5 squared. I'm kind of doing decimals because it's more like a real life question. And I'm going to minus 1.5 squared. 1.5 squared is 2.25. Minus 2.25. And I've still got the 12 here. So when I multiply by minus 4.9, I have minus 4.9 t minus 1.5 squared. Then I've got 2.25 and 4.9. It's going to be positive because they're both negative, which is 11.025 plus 12.25. So getting it in the right order, I'm going to do my 12.2, I'm going to add 12.25 onto that, which is 23.275. So it is 
0.275 minus 4.9 t minus 1.5 squared. So may not have looked like it, but that is completed square form. So the value of a is 23.275. The value of b is 4.9. And the value of c is 1.5. So just same stuff as before. Part D of the question says, using your answer to part C or otherwise, find the maximum height of the sphere above the ground and the time at which the maximum height is reached. So we're going to use this information that we've just worked on because it asked us to use part C and we're trying to find the maximum height. Well, we know the shape of this is like this. So the maximum is the turning point. And we've just used that in part C. So the maximum height is going to be 23.275 metres, which I guess we could round to 25.28 metres to two decimal places. And this will occur when this bit is zero. In other words, when t is 1.5. This occurs when t equals 1.5. OK, so we use the completed square form to help us find out the maximum and to find out when that happened. So that should be enough to get you started. I'm going to do a couple of exam questions separately. That's now going to be for exercise 2H.